Hey guys, it's Cullen here. I'm back with another episode in my Factorio campaign. Um, to start this episode, I am going to move some of these concrete smelters, uh, stone brick smelters. So I've got more more room over here. So just these top ones. I'm not moving them very far, so. And of course, I'm out of. Of course, I'm, I've got too much in my inventory. Okay. That will clear some more room anyway. Sweet. Yeah, I'm just gonna mirror. Do that here. I think that was it. Bit for, late for lab speed, but whatever. Um, actually, if we split that there underground. Split that there. Okay. Sort that out properly. There we go. Something like that. Now I can get more lines through here. Is that all you're feeding? Well, if that's the case, then you can go somewhere a little more appropriate. Somewhere out of the way. Okay, so I think I can place down the rocket silo. So we'll do that and then we'll hook up the lines. Okay, we want one of them in there. I want to move it up one. And honestly, I want that closer in the chain than so where'd it go? There it went. So you always want the rocket silo after the satellite. So the satellite um picks up its resources first. 
if it's the other way around, you'll never get satellites made. Which, you know, um, like that. Uh, let's have a look. We have a so single line of them, single line of them. So bring them this way. Oh, I've done that wrong. Partially. These guys here need to be joined down here. And then fed onto that belt. that. Okay. We'll work it out eventually. And the other line was for the solid fuel. The rocket fuel. See, this is what happens That's when right, you take I a made break. two of everything, didn't I? <laughs> so, this one here needs to come up. This one here needs to come down. Something like that. Alright, we'll get there. Um, let's do this one. Once that drains off, I'll do it properly. Oh, it's not going to drain off. So where's okay. this fuel? Okay, so we've got the two lines here, and we've got the radar here. Uh, 
Um, and I guess I just need to come under here like that. And I also need to get the some processing straight processing units down. So we'll we'll look at that. Okay. Straight down. If I do that, then I can bring Just the process of units. Which be here? Well, it needs two hundred. But also, Feed. I think it was for the satellites, so it's going to need basically a direct. Happy times. You know what? Let's extend this by a couple and put a second one of these on. Okay, well, need more. What are we limited on? I think you just... You got enough that battery. We'll see how we go for... But, we'll leave production like that. We got one, so... The end of the rocket. Because that should, it should be, be okay. I mean, sorry. Okay, so low density structure is a problem. What are you running short of? You just need more production. And okay, let's increase low density structure. Now I've got a handy book here. Um, let's they don't line up because the uh the belt's going the wrong way.
Anyway, we can... Tie into that one. Let's, uh... Let's make a quick adjustment up here. I'm going to need more solid fuel, so... Maybe I'm a little too limited on space. Alright, is that the only power connection? Yes. And processing units are struggling. Why are they struggling? They need more green. And they're going to struggle because, well, we just need more green. <laughs> Red circuits are fine. So, let's take this output. Uh, where do we need to get to? We need to get to there. Let's do this. That's pretty funny. That's actually going to half fold back on itself. But that's okay. It's only the inside track. I changed the yellow belt after I moved on, didn't I? Add some more red belt to uh, keep pushing them through. Okay, back to where we were. Some days... That's not fair. No matter where I place that, it, it's not going to reach.
wonder if the power poles are going to go in neat. So far, so good. Awesome. Okay, let's get some splitters down here. And then... Are you kidding me? Just read. Okay, well. There we go, that's going to improve somewhat. Let's and there's no output belt. Typical. Let's go and get some belt. You're short on coal. That's that's a new one. <laughs> it's okay to be short on coal. Let's grab some inserters while I'm here as well. No doubt I'm running short. So we might have to set up a coal train. That sounds fun. Or at least work out how to feed... Oh, that would be these supplies running dry, basically. Solid fuel's fine, surprisingly. The output's still a little slow, but... They're all working. Oh, this last one's not... That's not too bad. Oh, wrong way, that one. I mean, I could have just merged that in anyway, but... Okay. So, low density structure I've just doubled. How are you going? 52%. Alright, let's go take a quick look at the coal. 
Um, it's not the big coal that I'm worried about, it's a little one. I might have to take coal from here, there's already a train line, so... What are they, electric mining drill one? And power's struggling a little bit too. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Let's go and get some um, electric mining drills. Yeah, I'm not concerned that much about the solar panels. There's going to be more than enough production for what we want. I should put all these basic ones in because we'll just slowly replace them. are slowly holding on. Okay, well that's just gonna make that one run out faster. I don't think I tracked the this coal, but I can't imagine them lasting too long. Where's my what? Can't be right. East forty two coal is four hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, I guess there is quite a lot there. Wow. What do you got? Yeah, you do have a metric ton of coal. Okay, I thought that'd be running out quicker than it is, but Alright, we've increased production somewhat. It's back to a full single line now. That should uh, make the plastic better. The steel's starting to struggle. That's... Why is the steel struggling? All the iron input's low. Yep. So, let's get these iron belts full. Let's see if we can fill up both of these before I end this episode. Yep, well, you don't need to do that anymore. Wow, just absolutely... <laughs> There's not much left. Kind of doesn't really matter. Let's 
So, Okay, that's going to send that out. So, I'm not tracking that one. That's going to take too long. So, the new iron is going to last an hour and a half. Uh, we should probably merge that in to the other line as well. Right, let's let's do this properly. You should do that, and then this one here needs to merge here, and this one here gets a underground belt, and then it merges there. Now you should have full belts. And it doesn't matter what this side does, even though these guys are out of ore. There's not much I can do about the uh, copper though. They're out of all there, out of all. So we're going to have to go hunting for a little more copper in the next episode. It's not working as well as it should, so we'll quickly change to the... Okay. You two merge. And then you split, you merge. Um, has to be there, doesn't it? Um, Perfect. I, I don't care if they're not 100% even. I just want compressed belts. Okay. Well, on that, I'm going to end the episode. Um, looks like this low-density structure shortage, which is going to be steel, um, is going to be the slow point. <laughs> so I need to make another one of these uh, steel factories because I've only got one running the whole thing so I'm not surprised it's just not getting the iron it needs oh this could improve actually a bit but it begs the question why do I need to put this inside one of these when I could just copy the blueprint and Make it myself.